Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, well, it's after my day and I get to go work till dark on another project after everybody leaves. But I'm building my neighbor some gates and you know, it's a pretty large gate. I wanna say it's like 30 foot between this. There's gonna be a double gate. And he wanted, he requested four inch pipe with square tubing X'd. Now, I've never had a job where you had to saddle uh, square tubing on a 58.6 degree uh, and go into pipe. And it's been kind of awkward, but you know, I enjoy stuff like this, figuring out, trying to make it uh, faster. If I ever have to get, do it again, I can, you know, uh, do it a lot faster. And I wanted to show you to try to cut some of this time off if you ever have to do it. So I'm gonna show you how I laid it out and what I think the best way is so far. I'll flip the camera around and show you what I've been up to. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like this kind of content. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I did is I shot a laser over to all of them to make them even, and I cut them off with my bevel machine. All right, and if you had done anything other than that, because you see the poles, this one's down in the ditch, it's about six or eight inches different than this one, but if I would have done anything different, the X would have been crooked, and that wouldn't have been cool. So, the X is square, and figuring this out was kind of a trick, uh, just, you know, I've never done it before, so the top one's kind of rough. There's a big gap there. <laughs> Monster had to do some uh, slugging, they call it. Maybe I'll show you how to do that later. Hopefully I won't have to. But they started getting better. You know, they started uh, cleaning up and looking really nice. And the X, uh, you know, I just, that was a 56.8 degree and that worked out good. So I'm going to show you how to lay that one out and maybe cut some time off a project uh, if you ever have to do this. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, if you just walk up to it and eyeball it and try to, it's, you're going to get that square one way or another, or I do anyway. So what I did was pretty simple. Laid this up here like so. And I looked down straight over to the other one. You know, so it's, it's it was perfect center and line. And I got on this side and I marked it. Put my level on the side of this square tubing and I put the, I sharpened the soapstone. And this works, you can use this trick a lot. I sharpened the soapstone on one side so you can get it level here and this is butted up to the pipe and this is flat. And you can put the flat side of your soapstone right there. And that's the side of your square tubing. You can do the same thing to the other side. Flat, flat against the pipe, flat of the soapstone against the square, the level, and then down. And then I measured two and a quarter down, and I made a mark here. And then off the first, well, not the first one because it wasn't very good, but like the second one that was getting better, I made me a little template because it just makes it easier, right? So after you get these lines, you can hold your template up here and mark out the top and the bottom. It'll look like this when you're done, but you're not done because this is round, this tubing's flat. So this is gonna have to be cut at an angle up and this is gonna be cut at an angle up, and these are gonna be straight, like, not like this, not like that, straight in the side of the pipe, and it wants to kinda of blow out the side because it messes the flame up, and here's one I've done already. That's about what it's gonna look like. You see that I haven't grinded anything, you know, I'm not big on grinding, but it actually fits pretty good. I'll grab a, grab a piece of square tubing and show you. So it, it fits in there really nice. It fits in there pretty good. That shouldn't be any problem to weld. And you can see how it goes down to my next mark. I just kind of had to whittle on it a little bit to get it to go that way, but it's getting faster all the time. Okay, so now you might be asking, well, how'd you lay out that bottom mark? 
Well, what I did was the same thing. I just used the same piece of square tubing. I got my square tubing up here where you can see the line on one side, the line on the other. I'm gonna put a torpedo level on the side of it, and then I'll mark the bottom the same. And remember, we got the one side of the soapstone flat. We're gonna, we're gonna run it down the side of that square tubing and make a mark, like so. That's the side of your square tubing. And then you would just do the same thing on the other side. And then I measured down to make that mark and that mark, and then I used my template to do the rest. So let's cut it out. If you guys know a better way to do this, let me know, because this is uh, my first goat rope. Feed yourself a little meat. And this one's going to be going down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it about the angle it's supposed to be. Oh, it's hard to cut out of position. Okay, I think I can weld that. Okay, so we're gonna slide the top in, like so, as far as it'll go, and then, move the camera for you. All right, that's what I'm left with. Looks like that. And it shouldn't be bad either. So, like I said, guys, if you know a better way to do this, it's pretty easy. That didn't take very long, but um, keeps me from having to saddle square tubing to go on pipe on a certain degree. Um, and this is the way I like to do it anyway, but usually I don't do it to four inch. It's much easier to saddle, to cut holes in six inch and stuff like that. Now, when you get to four inch and three inch, it's, it starts to really get a bend to it. It's a little bit harder. How to cut 10 gauge tubing to about one eighth thick with a torch. All right. Most of the time people would use a chop saw. I do not have mine. Uh, or you would use a Metabo. But in this case, we're going to use a torch. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get it nice and clean. What you wanna do is get the little file and, and get it flat and shiny. It's all you wanna do. You're not trying to take any metal off. You're just trying to make it look, you know, clean and shiny. Then we're gonna get out our tools and we're gonna clean the tip, find the one that fits. Don't try to cram it in there and break it off, okay? That one's too big. And you're gonna feel a little, a little rough. That's what you want and just work it. Just work it. Pol you're trying to polish the inside of that tip. You're not really trying to gut it out. I've seen tip drills. Never use a tip drill on your torch tip. It will never be right again. Not had good luck with that. If you guys have, let me know in the comments, but it just never cuts the same. 
and go over all the holes real you can hear it just barely touching and you just want to polish the inside because when you're cutting square tubing it it wants to melt back together. Well, not square tubing, but really thin square tubing, thin material. It wants to weld itself back together, so you have to cut it fast and with a really clean tip, and you can get away with it. And to be honest with you, I really hate using a Metabo. I hate the way it smells. I just, I've had to use them a long time. Jose's already off work, and uh, this is the way I choose to do things. I would love to have my chop saw. That would make my life a lot easier. <laughs> but we're just going to use a torch. It's pretty clean. It's not as clean as I'd like it. But it'll work. Start. Okay, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to start here and get all of it hot right off the bat. Start on the edge of something far away from where you're going to be. Because you don't want to get it all hot because it'll start welding itself back together. So get up there where it's you've got somewhere to go. There you go. You can, you can get a file or a grinder. You can just knock it off. Once it Probably had to grind it just a little bit. Bad as I hate to grind, I'm gonna have to grind it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna use a file. All right, guys, that's with a torch and a few licks of a file. So that's how you cut Schedule 10 tubing with a torch, very carefully. So hope you liked the video. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.